Others rock Jesus pieces, but they really don't know Jesus. Just know that he's the seeker, please your leader. We got the keys to the kingdom. We'll never be the future. Evil legions, all the demons. I know you see them screaming, please believe it. We got the keys to the kingdom. We got the keys for the kingdom. Jesus pieces, but they really don't know Jesus. The keys to the kingdom will never be the future. Evil legions, all the demons and demons. I know you see them screaming. Please believe it. We got the keys to the kingdom. We got the keys to the keys to the. Can I, can, I have, can I have a quick conversation with you, sir? What's your right then? What's your nationality? I can't hear you. What's your nationality, man? Uh, say it again. You're a Mor Mormon? No, I can't hear you. Say, say. Oh, you no, no, no. What's your nationality? Like, are you black? Are you white? Are you uh, um, African? I can't hear you, sir. American. Okay. That name... That name right there, where we get that name from? Yeah, you was born here, so you're an American citizen, right? But where do your people go back to? Work it out! Jer Jeremiah 17 and 4. So let me show you something, let me show you something real quick. What I'm showing you is, in the Bible, this is prophecy to happen to us because we lost our identity and our history and culture. That's right! You understand? Come this way, look at it, you can look at the signs. Here's a sign to show all the history that we that's in the Bible. This is not you ain't gotta be scared of us. Huh? Why why are why black why why are black people so scared of us to talk to their own brother? Look, we got signs, we we talk very nice. We're not here to disrespect you, we're here to show you you're the greatest people on the planet Earth. Right. And we're here to show you, and y'all are scared. You know what that is? You're slave-minded. That's right. that's right. Here it is, the Bible showing you you're supposed to be ruling this earth. And you don't want it. That's right. You want to be under daddy. Read what you got, man. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. Hear thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage. See what God said? Black man, you discontinue from your heritage, your culture, your identity, your language. That's right. Man, man, what's your culture, man? What's your culture, sis? So come, come talk to me. Come talk to me. Listen to what the Bible says right here. Read that again. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. You believe in the Bible, man? Very good. Read that. Hit thou, even thyself. What's your name, sir? Huh? Sister Overlay. Now, even yourself, Sister Overlay. Now, discontinue from thy heritage. Wait a minute. It says, Overlay, you're going to discontinue from your heritage. Is that true or false? What's your, what's your identity? What's your culture? That's why I asked you. That's a prophecy in the Bible that happened to the children of Israel. Okay, Numbers 1 and 18. That's okay, but guess what we could do through the Bible? We could get rid of that confusion for you. That's right. Because listen to me. When, you, when I ask you what's your culture, you're supposed to be able to say, oh, my people do this. Oh, my people do that. My people eat this food. My people celebrate these holidays. My people speak this language. You understand? But in, in America, Black people can't do that. Wait, wait. wait, come back this way. I want to show you some truth. I want to show you your nationality in the Bible. Think about it, sis. Look at this right here. Why did this happen? To you too, ma'am. Why did this happen to us? Look at this. Look, don't you want to answer? You should want some truth. Some of us are 50 years old and don't know these things. Yeah. You don't think you should, you should take five minutes out of your time to know something you've never known all your life? That's right. Okay, you sit, you go to church? Now, when you go to church, do you walk out of the church because, because uh, um, or whatever the pastor teaching? Or do you sit there, be quiet and listen? Which one? Bring it out. Say, say it on the mic. Be quiet and listen. Okay, so what? So why, why can people all of a sudden, oh, I'm in a rush, I gotta go. Oh, uh, I got something to do. Listen, the pastor's not giving you no truth. That's right. Now, you see this right, what happened to us? We're gonna show you this in the Bible. Watch this. The book, of, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. 
Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemy. You got, I'm going to assume you have a job. Right? Now, it says you're going to serve the children of Israel. It's a prophecy. Are going to serve their enemies. Now, the people that you work for. What race are they? Huh? They're black. Now, that, that company, did they have to go and get a tax ID? Say it again. Private duty. Do private duty, but do they have to be sanctioned? Do they have, do they have to go down to the county clerk and author? Yes, man. To start a business, you got to go get an LLC or a. Um, you understand what I'm saying? So they still have to go and be sanctioned by your enemy. Read it again. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. God sent this man against us. Read. In hunger. So for food, what do we? You have to work that job for food, right? Okay, read. And in thirst. So for, for water, you pay a water bill? Wait a minute. You pay a water bill. Who, if you don't pay that water bill, what happens to your water? Who cuts it off? Who's the man? Who's the man? Huh? Who's that? I, put a, let's put a face on it, man. Don't be scared. That's right. Wait, where are you walking away? Where are you going? I want to, I want to, I'm trying to prove prophecy to you of who you are. Right. That these things happen to us because we continue breaking God's laws, That's man. Right. Let's look, look at, sis. yeah, look at it. Get a good look. Look what happened to our sister, Brianna Taylor. Brianna Taylor was shot in her bed. Guess what, man? Man, nobody went to jail. Nobody went to jail. Ahmaud Arbery was jogging down the street. He was, you know what? He was shot with a shotgun. For, no for, for what? For no, where are you, where are you going? Where's my sister going? So you're gonna go break God's Sabbath. Bring it out! You understand? Today's the Sabbath day. Give That's me that, right. that Exodus 20 and 8. Bring it out! Let me show you real quick. You know what's the Sabbath day? Sister, come I do on, know sis. The Sabbath day. Okay, you know the understanding of the Sabbath. Nehemiah yeah. 10 31. Watch this. Yeah. Bring it out! What's the under, give me the understanding of the Sabbath. You're not supposed to do anything with shopping or nothing. Not on the Sabbath day. Sunday you can do it though. We gotta repent and change. Come on, give me that. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. So let's start with the man. A man should not put on a woman's garment. What is a woman's garment a man should not wear? You guess? It's not a guess. It's fact. A man's not supposed to be wearing a dress. Panties, bra, skirt, right? You agree? Now, let's go to the woman now. So you heard about what the man's not supposed to wear. And that, in this society, it's called what? Cross-dressing. You agree? Okay, read the top. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Now, what is the article, what is the clothing that women wear, that men wear, that they should not be wearing, that women should not be wearing? My sister, you 100% correct. That's right. Because the pants were given to who? The men, the That's priests. Right. You know these things. So now, sis, why are we not, why are you not doing this? Because guess what? It's comfortable. Now, step back that way, step back that way. 
I'm gonna show you why it's coming. Because the dominant society gave it to you. And they said you could be 50-50 now. It ain't you could be a, you could be a, 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 you could be just like the man now. No, God set up an order, sis. That's right. God, Christ, man, woman. But the women here have been given the authority by so for a white man yeah. to be over the man. That's right. Am I right? Am I wrong? Say it again. Say, say, say. say it again. Okay. What, what does that mean? Now, listen to what I'm saying to you. That script, what you just said, is it scriptural? Okay. What scripture? Now, so you're saying grace, you can do whatever you want. Wait a minute, you just said that. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Say it, say it again, say it again, say it again. Whatever we do, we are. Whatever we do. So whatever we do, we're saved by salvation. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. So we should, wait, wait, look, you ready to go again. We have a conversation. Now, watch it. Now, let's see what the Bible says. Watch it. Titus 20. Does. The book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 11. For the grace of God. So we're talking about grace, right? Now, read it slow and loud for my sister. We're going to read the Bible. We're going to read it. Listen. The grace of God that bringeth salvation. The grace of God brings salvation, like you said, has appeared to all men, teaching us. Wait, 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 wait. Teaching us. Grace is going to teach us. Death, denying ungodliness. Wait a minute. Grace is supposed to teach us to deny ungodliness. Amen. Like women in pants. We in worldly lust. And world grace is gonna teach us to deny ungodliness and worldly lust. We, we should live sober. We should live sober. Righteously. We should live righteously. Righteous means keeping God's laws. In God. In this present world. I rest my case. Right. You just learned about grace. Right. So the understanding you had of grace is not correct. Because grace just said, listen, wait, just listen. Grace just said that it's going to teach you to deny ungodliness in this present world. That's so right. you still got to keep God's laws right now. Right. You can't use grace as an excuse to say, oh, I'm going to do whatever you think I want. I'm saved by grace. That's not but that's, no, I understand, but the majority of our people, that's what they think. They think, oh, I could, I could go murder somebody, I could kill, I could do this, I could steal, I could do drugs, I could sell drugs, and I'm still going to the kingdom of heaven. No, you ain't, you getting death. So, what you got to do, sis, you got to repent. You got to repent. The pants, buying on the Sabbath day, you, say it again. So, wait a minute, give me Romans 6.23. Now, you believe in the New Testament, right? Now, let's see what Paul said in the New Testament. Don't run. Don't run because I brought out God's laws now. Don't run. Listen to what the Bible says, man. Come on. The book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. Read it again for my sister. For the wages of sin is death. Says, what you think about that? That's what Paul said. That's what right. That's right. Paul said the wages of sin is death. Right. So you got to repent. That's right. Women in pants is sin. That's right. You understand? That is a sin. That's right. You got to repent. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.